Hi, my name is Satyajit Salgar. I work in Google Search. Thanks for watching. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the knowledge graph and how using schema.org markup, we, Google, and you, developers and content owners, can work together to build a better experience for people around media. But first, let's talk about why this matters. It matters because life is hard. There's always a lot to do. Everything is harder than it needs to be, and most things are unfair. But some things make it a little bit better. One of those things are movies and television. If you're a fan like me, it's an important part of your life. And most people are like me. According to official statistics, literally the only thing people do more than watch television is sleep. We at Google see this in what people ask us about every day as well. But finding great content to watch is actually getting harder. And there are a number of reasons why. The main reason is fragmentation. There's just more content being created. The amount of content that's been created has exploded, as have the ways to distribute that content and the business models tied to it. Do you rent or do you buy? Do you watch HD or SD? Do you have access through your cable provider? Is there a window after which this movie will be open on another service? Finally, do you watch this on your phone? Can you watch it on TV? Will this be on broadcast television at some point? So basically, something that would make life less hard has become a hard problem. But let's solve that hard problem, and let's do it together. First, let's break this problem down a little bit. Let's talk about three things and help people solve these three. What are the various things that these people could watch? Where should they consider watching it? And why should they consider watching it? Now let's talk about the tools we have available to us to help them. In particular, let's talk about the Google Knowledge Graph. The Knowledge Graph maps out how one billion things in the real world, one billion things, people, places, and things are connected to each other. Having this data in a structured form lets us do some really powerful things with it. Uh, it helps us answer all sorts of hard questions every single day. For example, just ask Google a celebrity's, celebrity's age, uh, or compare two entities like Rivers or two movies, or ask at Google who won the Oscars a certain year. Today we answer questions like a movie's running time, its cost, and so much more. We can answer some really hard questions as well. Uh, for example, how many degrees of separation is your favorite actor from Kevin Bacon? Or what movies have two actors you've heard about been in together? Just try this out. Now, let's go back and tackle those questions we wanted to answer. Starting with helping you decide what to watch. Try searching for action movies, or even movies about basketball on an Android phone. You'll see an entry point into a rich, immersive experience. You can browse a list of movies, Click through to learn more about one you like, learn everything about it, as well as check out a magically organized list of recommended similar movies. We think this experience of organized knowledge panels will help you explore movies and TV shows you would never heard about and make it a lot more fun. Now let's go to that second question, where should you watch it? The most obvious thing we could do at Google to help you with that is give you a link right on the knowledge panel to click on when you're looking at a piece of content. So we've done that most obvious thing. For numerous episodes and movies, we're trying hard to give you a single click that'll let you either watch or buy that piece of content. We want to partner with you to make sure we let people watch every single piece of content every creator ever created with a single click. Now let's talk about why someone watches something. Now, there are many things that help you decide if you're going to watch. What the trailer of a movie looks like, uh, who's in it, who the director is, and what they did before. We try hard to give you all of that information on the Google Knowledge Panel. Now, another important factor is what critics you like and trusted voices also think about that piece of content. So we made it easier to surface critic reviews right on Google Knowledge Panels. Try it out for some recent movies. We've actually found that people are able to make better decisions because of this. They tell us it gives them more nuance, as well as introduces them to new critics whose opinions they really enjoy. Now, we're starting with movies, but we believe the pattern will carry over to all media, for books, for TV shows, games, music. In fact, we're inviting you to submit critic reviews for books as well. Stay tuned as we extend this to other verticals. So hopefully the question at this point is, 
What's in it for me as a developer or a content owner? And how hard is this to do? Now, not only do we believe this creates a better experience for people, we think it's a great way for people to find your content, your videos or your reviews, and get introduced to your app, your website, or your service. By simply adding a couple of lines of schema.org markup on your site, you can ensure that Google finds and surfaces these links on search, on desktop, as well as on the web and mobile. So what I want to leave you with. We're expanding beyond our set of initial partners. Join us. It's easy to do, and it's a great way to help people find your app or service. Check out developers.google.com to learn more. Let's build a better media experience and help people make better decisions about what they watch. Thanks for making a great decision and watching this far.